Alright, so this one here is... I was doing research on the wrong aspects, so that's a, kind of a funny and sad and embarrassing at the same time. <laughs> um, I was focusing on the different types of people that are out there, and I was completely missing the whole relationship aspect here. Um, specifically, there are already topics about relationships between men and women, so... The only thing that I'll be bringing into all that is where God stands in all of this. Because, honestly, that's important. In the beginning, you kind of want to start, you want to go back and see where, uh, what people believe in, if they even believe in a God to begin with. There's a lot of people who want to make comparisons saying that some gods are just like the others. Um, Allah and Jesus Christ being the same figure, for example, when comparing Muslims to Christians. <clears throat> First example that comes to mind, the most popular one. There are differences, but for the sake of it, how do they impact the relationships between men and women? Honestly, this is something that's going to take a lot of time and effort in order to pull out more information and hopefully from that information pull out some more answers. How This may not exactly apply to everyone's life, but it's important in the sense of if kids are in the picture and if there are problems that you're not seeing the answers to. Um, there's, there's quite a bit out there that is not easily explained or not easily accessible, like, they're, they're not really covered, if that makes sense. When you've got, when you've got kids, when you've got some uh, delicate issues with people who are of a certain faith, whether they be uh, Jehovah's Witnesses that are visiting you, going from door to door, whether they be co-workers, people who are at a church causing problems, anything of that kind of nature where there are problems involved and like you're looking for solutions and you're going to someone who you think you can trust whether that be a pastor or possibly parents the the relationship that is there does come into play on some rare occasions that's what I'm going to be spending a little bit of time talking about I don't want to spend too much time on certain aspects, but pointing them out so you can be aware of them is what I'm trying to do. So, I would also like to point out here that if the men and women in question here are, if, if the, the men and women, in, as far as a part of your um, problem, if you have one, if they have a relationship and if the relationship is strong and they are, they do have a belief that there is a God out there and it is the same kind, not a different face, it's it's generalized that they're going to be stronger as far as a relationship and it will actually take less effort in order to communicate and talk to them and to see, to show them what the problem is or in some cases to ask them for help. This is, um, the relationship side is a bit complicated because it's not just simply talking about faith or talking about the relationship itself. It's a combination of several factors and the strength of that relationship, what kind of relationship, and to a degree, was there any backsliding? You know, was there, is there like a process of losing the faith? Is a uh, relationship getting, um, is it getting tested? Is like, there, there's different points here that matter and they're not always looked at. Sometimes it's just focused on purely the one person or the other. And when that happens, it's just usually goes down the road of uh, pointing fingers and blaming, blaming the other person for what's going wrong. Sometimes it's not a ma matter of, you know, who's right, who's wrong. Sometimes it's a matter of there's an obstacle in the way, 
And when you come across it, both of you, you're just blaming each other. You're not actually removing the obstacle. You're not taking care of the problems. So, I would have to say from uh, the parts of, that I was looking into that I was completely doing the wrong way, the different types of people out there do matter. But as far as the sake of the relationship goes, it does not matter, if that makes sense to you. There, you know, like, I'll just briefly touch upon what I was looking into. There, when you look at the different types of professions, that does play a role. You know, those who are in the government, those who are in the military, those who are, like, social workers, those who are pastors, those who are, uh, like, you get what I'm saying, like, there's the profession type of people, they have... They have a focus on profession. There are those who are focused on the social aspect, families. There are those who are more political. Um, then there is more leaning on the left and the right. More who are, yeah, you get what I'm saying. Like, that does matter because what they value is what they look at and what they view. And it's mainly what they're going to see. So if you approach them from a topic that's outside of what they normally deal with, sometimes you'll get a blank stare and sometimes you'll get like, oh, sorry, um, that's not something I talk about. Well, and in some rare cases, they'll actually chime in saying what they do know and there might actually be a discussion. But that's kind of rare. Though. So as far as the relationship goes, it's, it's important because and this is kind of the whole point of the video here is it's not about right or wrong it's about obstacles and being able to have a strong relationship is incredibly helpful because it prevents issues and problems and um, it, it can help keep things whole the relationship, the families um, the friendships too now, as far as focusing on God, I would have to say that your understanding and your belief, if it's something that is made personal and something that you've come to believe that there is a God, that there is a creator, I would have to say that while this is incredibly personal, the relationships formed around it are going to be unique and probably very lifelong unless they're like enemy related like you encounter someone and they just you just got off on the wrong foot and it's been like that permanent chances are they're not going to be in your life for, for much longer anyway unless they're co-workers well that's a different story some people have taken the approach to actually hide their relationship with um, with God from others I can understand that. I can even respect that to a point because in today's day and age, that's honestly uh, that's very dangerous and very tricky because it goes against political narrative sometimes. It also goes against as some form of uh, hatred, if that makes sense. Like the way, not not exactly in the way that racism is, but it's got. There's the intolerance point that others wanna wanna say that like if you believe in this God, you're intolerant of this type of people. Um, there's a lot of Christians who are condemned as far as their faith and belief because it it does something to Muslim people. I want to say. It promotes violence as well as uh, oppression, but I think the terms can be uh, tossed around and changed a little bit. It's not always the same thing. It's personal. It's not meant to be so public, and yet people want to try to weaponize this. That's another point. That leads to the next point here, weaponizing the relationships themselves. I think the only... I think this is something that should be avoided because relationships are meant to kind of grow bond and to, to, to help raise kids up in a, a good, safe environment. And weaponizing them 
really is destructive in a lot of ways. It doesn't help out. Um, I think if that happens, there are ways to reverse that and to fix it. Um, and even and to an extent, that itself can be used, you know, as a valuable um, learning experience for you or for others who come after you. Now, I want to say the last point that I want to I want to touch on happens to be uh, let me see here. It's not so much the relationship part; it's more about the God part. There's a lot of people who. You can generally lump people into two different categories. Those who have faith and believe that there's a God and those who don't. And I would have to say that if that itself causes an issue, there's always other common ground to find, to to talk about, to look upon. Now, it it is quite possible that God itself, the topic as well as the, 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 the being, is the obstacle. And something did kind of hit me up and it took a lot of time to kind of process through all that but there's a lot of kids who are growing up in today's world that are struggling because of uh, abuse that's happened to them by um, someone who's related or has gone to the church um, pastors uh, priests and uh, they just had bad experiences and they just blame God like as much as I hate saying it like there's a lot of evidence that point to the fact that their understanding of God is the obstacle. So, it's tricky because a lot of people don't really know what to do in that situation and how to approach it because it's not, it's unique, but it's not something that's really talked about or addressed. This is a big issue in the sense of uh, being able to fix some of the obstacles that have currently popped up. Honestly, it could take years, especially if there's a death or a traumatic event that needs to be processed that's just simply pushed under the pushed in the corner and uh, kind of buried up, you know, buried something that's just not looked at or taken care of. That's uh, that happened to a sister of mine, and as best of my, best of, best of my knowledge, she just kind of walked away from. Uh, her faith. She couldn't process and couldn't deal with the fact that our brother had um, taken his life and she just she just walked away. You know? There, there, that's not really an obstacle though. Not for that example, but I'm just showing the consequence and the fact that when the obstacles pop up, sometimes people walk away. That just seems to be the most common result there things happening and people walking away because they can't get over certain questions they can't get past certain points um that that's very relevant though anyway i hope this was helpful and um hope you learned a few things and until next time